Yo guys, how's it going? So we're back in Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart on PC, and uh, since I last put this video, there was an issue of HD textures not being fully uh, loaded into the game, and it did patch the issue, and uh, so we'll go ahead and test that out in uh, some different uh, scenes of the game. So we're going to strict RTX 4090 graphics card with 170 megahertz core clock, all of the 5 megahertz memory clock. So we got 3040 by 2160 by 4K 144 hertz display. NVIDIA low reflex latency is on. HDR is enabled. You may have to wait 24 hours for it to process on YouTube. Now for this video, I'm going to exclusively use uh, DLA anti-aliasing, which is a higher uh, end version of anti-aliasing. So we're just going to keep that on. And we're not going to use frame generation or any of those uh, assist options. And all the graphics settings are fully maxed out, ultra setting. Uh, all these settings here are just maxed out at very high. And ultra level of detail and uh, ultra uh, shadow quality. And then all the graphics settings are fully uh, maxed out. We do have vignetting, uh, film grain, and chromatic aberration uh, turned off. So those don't look, do not look good on video. So we'll go ahead and play. It's how it runs. Just record a little uh, few minutes of gameplay. Uh, footage and then I also test out the texture assets to see if uh, we could see any noticeable uh, texture improvement. Uh, So let me go ahead and uh, go to uh, photo mode here and just to see this texture asset, see if they really did improve the uh, quality. So it looks like it's a uh, pretty high quality texture, I don't see any issues. But previously uh, there was some issue when they poured this game from PS5 that there were some low quality uh, textures that were being loaded and it was causing a very low quality image, but they did fix the issue which was nice. So. <laughs> We'll test it out in different scenes also because there were some scenes where it wouldn't show up and then there's some scenes where it would uh, show an issue. <laughs> Face. It's just such a high, uh, high intensity game where you really have to. You think you're tough? Deal seeing a lot of explosions and animations. It's hard to keep up. With everything. I wish you had a jetpack feature, Bolt. I do as well. I need some uh, better ammo here. <laughs> Guessing I gotta get across because I gotta unlock that. Uh Be 
another way across. Probably gotta be another uh jumping thing. Push B or something. Oh, okay. We got this little worm guy or whatever. I may regret suggesting this, but what about the speedle? What about it? Let's go! Home! Almost home! And there's another Grunthor in the way! I do regret this. So many like intense effects, it's just like someone's going on. Well, it's hard to see what's, what's even going on. So much going on. Try to get some of small things. Hard to keep up with everything that's going on on the screen. It's now so for my your final face. enemy, the Mortz's pressure locks. Yeah, definitely a pretty intense game. There's just uh, so much going on, so it's hard to keep up with where you need to go, you know? And now for my final enemy, the Mortz's Pressure Locks. I 
gotta step on these things. It appears here. that these locks must be hit quickly. Yep, morts are funny like that. It appears so. that these locks must be hit quickly. I think yep. I got it now. Morts are funny like that. Right. So I just gotta go over those lock things and then hopefully it'll unlock them. Right. There! Time to find out the truth about you! Mm -hmm. If only I could talk with Ratchet. There we go. Got it. Home sweet home. Why are you so hesitant to trust me? Look, robots aren't really my thing. Especially when they're tearing my galaxy apart. I am not. I was trying to help Ratchet find the other Lombaxes. We'll see the truth soon enough. Once I scan you and the Infobot I found in Nefarious City. Stuck in a boy. <laughs> Yeah, what I'm seeing so far, everything looks just fine. I mean, all the textures look pretty high quality. I'll try to pause it in uh, another scene here to check out some more visual assets, but it looks like everything is pretty much fixed. Besides that, the patch really didn't do much else. I think it was only like, I don't know, 50 gigabytes, or 50, 50 megabytes. I think it was 96 megabytes. It was a small file size, so it was just addressing the texture issues. But just wanted to record some footage of the game. I also have a uh, Beam NG, uh, that car game simulation, which I only played once so far. So I gotta try to get into playing that too, also. So I'll try to play that maybe tomorrow or even this weekend. So until then, thank you for watching. If you like the video, give it a like. And if you wanna see more content like this, uh, car videos and gaming and what have you, I'll uh, subscribe. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys around. Peace out.